My name is Ishmael Diabate. I have Malian citizenship, but I'm originally from Guinea. I'm 25 years old. I immigrated to Morocco because of the economic situation in Guinea. First, I traveled to Mali. I stayed in Mali for around a month. There, I worked and managed to save $60. With that money, I was able to buy a Malian passport, and from Mali, I moved to Algeria. Then I worked again in order to save the $400 to be able to get to Morocco. Since I was a child, I wanted to immigrate to Europe. But because I have no chance of getting a visa, I decided to go to Morocco to be able to cross to Spain, as Morocco is the gateway to Europe. Eventually, I managed to get to Uchda in Morocco. And from Uchda, I went to the Spanish enclave Melilla. Melilla is the first door to Europe because it's a part of Spain inside Morocco. To get into Melilla, you have to climb three seven-meter high fences. I managed to get past the fences, but the Spanish border police caught me and handed me to Moroccan police, who took me to the Moroccan-Algerian border again. I've lost many of my friends who died trying to cross the sea to Spain. These kind of incidents happen a lot. It even happened to me once. The boat was broken in the middle of the sea, but a Navy patrol saved us. When I think about that time, I'm really scared. I don't know what my destiny is. Will I die in the sea or make it to Europe? When I wake up in the morning, I have my breakfast. Then I go to the place in Rabat where I have my small shoe repair business. I'm doing well with this work. I've managed to make a living. But I don't make good money every day. Sometimes I get around six dollars. It all depends on the customers. But the good thing is, I'm working, not begging. I don't ask for help from anyone. With the money I earn, I'm able to buy clothes and pay my rent. In good times, I can even save some money, around 80 to 120 dollars. When I save that amount, I'll travel to the north of Morocco, buy a plastic boat, and with my friend, we will try to cross again. Around two years ago, sub-Saharan immigrants were treated really badly in Morocco. But the situation has changed since the king gave the right of some sub-Saharans to get residency cards. I haven't got mine yet, but the situation has really changed from how it was before. In the past, people would spit at us, pull our noses, say racist things. But since the start of the year, we feel that there has been a change. As soon as I can get my residency, I will find a better job and it will enable me to travel to Europe. I didn't leave my country to stay in Morocco. I have to leave whatever the price is. Despite my suffering, I will find my happiness. I will make it there, God willing.